his baby's here. So is his darling dear. His child bears his name. Can't face my friends, I'm so ashamed. And I'm living in the footsteps of another. Yes, I'm living. Yes, I'm a living, living in the footsteps of another man. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this madhouse with me, your illustrious host, with the most, Khadija. Listen. I want to ask y'all opinion today because it's almost like this, there's a, a world that somehow I've helped produce. And all of y'all who are younger than me, I consider the those of us who are in our 60s and 70s and, you know, we help create you people and I can see where we went wrong especially when we start smoking crack um, but that's neither here nor there right now what I'm trying to forget the logic of a woman now you know I a woman who has had got busted with multiple partners Okay, not just one, not just two, but four. Why are you in a relationship with somebody else? And this is all going on within one year. And then your self come up with a pregnancy. And you are actually mad at your so-called significant other because they want to a DNA test. I, I'm I'm trying to figure out where this mindset comes from. See, there was a lot of we have to take accountability, y'all, because when a lot of y'all bought into that, let me give you a diploma without what a, a which is a blank piece of paper because your ass skips school all year round. You really don't have no. Uh, passing grades, but we're going to let you walk across this stage anyway just to get rid of you, basically. But, so you won't feel bad. See, then you grow a whole bunch of people with no accountability and the people of my generation are looking at y'all and saying, what the hell have we produced? I know I am. Just like the generations before me that produced us. My generation, those of us who had to, uh, you know, pick weed the garden, those of us who had to, uh, we had chores in the house, we did specific things, and if we didn't do it, our fathers beat our behinds raw. Um, those of us, see, there was that was created from the generation above me, okay. So now I have to take some responsibility for, oh, not me personally, but I'm just saying my generation. Because who I individually gave birth to would not even act like that. Because, see, a tree is known by the fruit that it bears. And I can't bear that kind of fruit. I just really can't. So I'm trying to figure out who would have gone through life unaccountable, being allowed to do whatever you want and think whatever you want. Nobody challenge you. Nobody say, hey, look, your skirt too short. That's too damn bad. I don't give a damn what them other girls out there doing. How do you want to, uh, um, uh, how do you want to represent? How do, do you want all this attention from old guys running, driving down the street, harassing you or young guys? Do you want to do that? Because that's what's going to happen if you stand on the, on the bus stop looking like that. Now, a lot of y'all get mad. Say they should be able to dress the way they want to. Yes, they should. But if they live in... Listen, if, if they're not in an enlightened neighborhood, 
where 99.9% of people are enlightened and know who uh, they should or what respect should be given to one another as human beings, if they're not even living and haven't seen a, a model of that type of behavior, how in, expect, in the world do you expect them to exude that? It, it's impossible. It, it, it can't happen, right? So I just know it's a bunch of women right now. And I'm actually watching one of these situations in my family. Well, every time I turn around, my cousin is his uh, significant other has been busted having uh, extra uh, marital uh, affairs. He's still there, and I, you know, I'm, I'm like, why are you there? This person obviously doesn't respect the institution of marriage. This ain't we been through so much. This is this person doesn't have any more morals. And if they want to live single, what the hell they doing married? And I bet you if you would run all four of these children through the DNA office like a car wash, you probably is probably only the father of one of them. Those were my sincerest thoughts. But I just encouraged and I was glad that when she came up pregnant now, they're going to have a DNA test. And of course she wiggling out of it. She wants to. Now, if you ask me, I think it should be a law. If you marry, then oh well, it's going to fall in your net anyway. That's the way the laws are set up. But if this is a person that you are not married to, you would have to be a fool not to have a DNA test when a woman tells you she's pregnant. Mama's baby, papa's baby. Always remember that. For all of you young men out there and young women, Mama's baby, Papa's maybe. And it is very insane because they did it back then as well. I don't want to just make it seem like this is something the new generation started. But this is the shame of my generation because there's a whole lot of people born in probably in my generation or before who raise other people kids and they didn't talk about it they didn't talk about it because it was a more private world okay but it wasn't this it, it was a more private hush hush thing but what's going on is going on now is totally insane and then again you don't have to have a mystery. You don't have to be talking about, I don't know, that's what the mama tell me. Now you can go have DNA. And I suggest that's what you do. If you find yourself getting ready to get caught up in one of these situations. And if you are caught up in one of these situations. And if you're looking at your child and he clearly, clearly, it doesn't have any attributes that you can identify with. Then maybe it's time for you to do that. And I think that as any woman that would um, try to guilt shame you because that's what you want to do, then shame on you. You, in a, you are in a prison and not in a relationship. And I just had to get that off this morning. Okay, with that being said, if you like what you hear, if you agree or if you disagree, I really want to know. I really do. Because some of y'all might think I done went a little too far. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share the channel. And I'm going to see you in the next video.